Welcome to Unedited, the Happily Forever After Myth series. This is Nanivel again, and I'm going to talk about how to discover which relationship myth type you are. So in the next five days, I'm going to explain and illustrate five of them that I have found to be very common. Maybe you have not known that we grew up, we grew up believing in myths and taboos. Most of us did. And when we don't know how to question because we are either afraid or believe that it's a sin or we're going to be criticized or being, being punished or something like that, then we, we are in fear and not actually questioning those are really detrimental for relationships and for them to last, especially if you want a healthy and happy relationship with somebody. So um, coming from uh, a family where everything was pretty much taboo, I, it took me many years actually to figure out where were the answers that I was looking for that nobody could give me. And it was through, I mean, I went through therapy, through counselors, to psychiatrists with my ex-husbands, because I've been married more than once and divorced too. And going through that pain just to have another reason to come back home one more day or one more month or another more year to end up divorced and heartbroken anyway. So guess what? I found the answers. It took me a long time to look it up online, to do a lot of inner work, to uh, do interviews and surveys and actually talking with people that I know and people that I don't know to figure out where were those answers that everybody believed they know that actually are not the real ones. So knowing these myths that I call the relationship myths types, uh, when you know which, which type you are, you will be able to start resolving your relationship story so that you, you can heal, become whole again, start a brand new relationship with yourself, and then be able to attract healthy and happy relationship with other people whenever you want one, if you want one. So stay tuned because tomorrow I'm going to speak about the myth number one, which is the Cinderella story, which actually I call it a hoax, and I will explain that tomorrow. And so it's going to be very interesting. There are a lot of Cinderella's and a lot of Prince Charming's out there just longing for a nice relationship to be in, and they're living in a myth. So I'm going to reveal which myth is that. I am, I am myth number one anyway, so it's going to be a very fun uh, video that I'm going to be speaking about tomorrow. So meanwhile, I hope that you go to sleep tonight feeling a little happier and that tomorrow you feel much happier than today. And thank you so very much for watching.